I tell the good jokes. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Alvin here, and today is the day. <laughs> We're gonna start talking about redfish on the fly. So I get asked, not every time I'm out with clients, but pretty often I get asked, what's your favorite fish to fish for? And I've been fortunate enough to, you know, travel around a little bit, fish for a lot of different fish, and, um, Sometimes it surprises people, but my favorite two fish, because I really can't narrow it down to one, but my favorite two fish are the fish that I get to fish for most often. That's bass and redfish, both Texas native fish that I get to fish for uh, year round. And that may be part of the reason why they're my favorites, because they're the ones that I know the best. They're the ones that I get to spend the most time chasing. Um, I could flip a coin and either one would be great, a great day of bass fishing or a great day of red fishing, and I would be happy. So I thought I would share some of my knowledge that I've gained over all these years of fly fishing for redfish. I did a series of three videos a while back about fly fishing for bass. I'll link that up there if you'd like to check that out if you haven't seen it. Um, so if you're interested in fly fishing for redfish, I'm gonna do three videos on this topic as well. Today will be sort of an intro, then we'll go into tackle, uh, you know, flies, rod, reels, line, leaders, all that type of stuff. And then in the final video, we'll do stuff on more specific tactics that will help you catch redfish on the fly. So if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, maybe put that little bell notification thing on so you'll know when I put up the next video and let's get into it. So just like uh, the fly fishing for bass videos, people say, you know, well, what's the deal? Why you wanna fly fish for redfish? And first and foremost, it's fun. <laughs> I mean, that's what this whole thing's all about, right? Having a good time. Fly fishing for redfish is really awesome. Uh, they're a great intro to saltwater fly fishing. If you live in the United States, anywhere near a coast, you've probably got some redfish, mostly the Gulf Coast and some of the Atlantic Coast. But I'm in Texas and we've got hundreds of miles of shoreline that we can go out and fish shallow water for redfish on the fly. So some of the cool things about red fishing. Um, one is it's kind of a combination of hunting and fishing. So we typically are sight casting for the fish. So we don't even cast until we see a fish. So that's kind of cool because, you know, you have to figure out where these fish are going to be, you know, different times of day, different times of the year, different water conditions. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot that goes into actually finding them. And some days that's the hardest part is finding the redfish. So if you like hunting, if you like figuring out complex situations, then fly fishing for redfish is definitely gonna be fun for you. Another thing about it is, you know, sight casting. It's a lot of visual stimulation. So we're actually looking for the fish. So you're trying to figure out what does a redfish look like in the water versus a mullet. <laughs> Lots of cast of mullet until you figure out the difference between what a redfish looks like in the water and what a mullet looks like in the water. We'll talk about that in some later videos. Okay, so sight casting for redfish 
is a great way to learn saltwater fishing. So before you take that fancy trip to the Bahamas or the Seychelles or wherever you're gonna go, anywhere that you're gonna be sight casting to a fish in shallow water, it's gonna be really similar to sight casting for redfish. So it's a good, good, it's a great way to learn how to fish shallow water and sight cast a fish. And more than likely, you've probably got some redfish somewhere, you know, if not a drive, uh, a short flight, you can get onto a redfish flat and figure this game out, this sight casting in shallow water game. Now, another thing about redfish, they're great for learning this saltwater sight casting game, but they're actually, I think, one of the harder fish to catch in shallow water and partly because they don't have great eyesight like say a bonefish does you know or a gt they're not nearly as aggressive a lot of times so you really got to get pretty good at making accurate casts figure out fish behavior and really it, it kind of fine tunes your skills so that you know by the time you do get to go and do some exotic trip to catch bonefish or catch permit or catch GTs or whatever, sight casting for redfish is gonna make you much better at that type of fishing as well. Okay, so like I said, this is just sort of an intro to this whole thing. I'm gonna make a couple more videos in this series and in the meantime, if you've got any type of questions, any type of suggestions, things that you might want to know about fly fishing for redfish, please throw that in the comments. I'm gonna to try to read all of them and I'm gonna to try to incorporate everybody's questions, everybody's suggestions into future videos. All right, so we're gonna keep it short and sweet today. Like I said at the beginning, please subscribe to the channel so you'll know when I post the next couple of videos on this subject. Maybe hit that little bell notification. I wanna thank you guys for watching these videos and as always, good luck on the water. Three o'clock, sorry. Facing right, right here, just right there. Oop, strip, strip, strip. Oh! <laughs> let him run, let him run. <laughs>